Hey, hello everybody out there in skateboard land. It's Roger from Skateboard Canada. We here at Skateboard Canada try to bring on some of the best guys in the game. Top to bottom, all ages, wherever they live, we bring them on. I got a neat, interesting, very cool guest today. He's in the grip tape game. I think he's sitting at the top of the heap personally. And you can decide that once you try his product. It's called Paradox Grip. And from San Diego, California, I'm very honored to have Ari Gold join me. Ari, welcome to Skateboard Canada. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Super cool. You could come on and, uh, and uh, share some of your, uh, what can I say? What makes Paradox uh, so cool secrets? I know you're not going to divulge all of them. I don't expect you to, but uh, let's start with uh, Paradox Grip. What's, what's the story behind it? And uh, maybe a little history. What uh, may bring us back a little bit, Ari? Well, it started as a way to underwrite Do Good, a charity I founded in 2002, and grew into making a better product and evolved into some really weird quantum grounding shit and a whole other weird journey that uh, I'm still on today. <laughs> you got some of uh, the heavy hitters in, in the skateboard game, riding and testing your product. Uh, it's come a few, uh, it's come a long way, has it not, from when you started up till now, would you say? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, it took me five factories to find the factory partner I have now. Incredible. So, uh, who's some of the guys you got riding? I mean, I know them and you know them, but uh, tell me some of the heavy, heavy hitters you got on your squad uh, currently. And you say off the camera, you got 70% of the guys that you started with almost 20 years ago. Who are some of these guys, Ari? Yeah, uh, not 20. It's been, it's been uh, it was 2007. Close enough. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while. Um, yeah, most of the guys, I mean, I don't want to, I'm going to miss somebody, uh, but this guy right here, Yoda, he's, he's a number one. He finally got a pro model. He sold out before anyone actually, to be honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, uh, Jake Brown, Peter Smolik, uh, part owners. So, you know, they're, they're definitely, uh, heavily, uh, part of the of the family and uh, well, Wes Kramer and Tyler Surrey and Mario Savanian have been on the team for since day one. We lost Marius for a few years, but he just came back. So uh, yeah, the, I started with with those three as AMs actually. Couple of recent additions to your squad, Ari. You mind dropping names, or is it a little too early to hit the press with that? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm pretty excited about some new additions. Um, we, we had a big loss. I, I hope Toby uh, has an amazing career. I know he has an incredible potential to just push the boundaries of what's possible in the skateboard, which is why I love him so much. So it was, uh, we lost Toby, but uh, we, we, we have Casey Wolf, and I'm really, really hyped about Casey. Uh, I think she's one of the top female skateboarders on the planet right now. Um, we also just got Chris Sen's youngest, Julian Sen, on the team. He's uh, 17, and he's really, really hungry and uh, to push the boundaries of skateboarding, which we're very excited about. And um, we have Josh Baldwin from Las Vegas, who's always pushing the boundaries of reality as a, on our up-and-comers. We're really excited about uh, Brian Hastings, Brandon Reynolds, Damian Hertenstein. Uh, we have a number of uh, amateurs on our on our squad that all have potential to really push the boundaries. So it's all on them, you know. So you provide the product, Ari, and you got amazing grip tape. I've been riding it myself for over a year. I'm relying on it. I'm trusting it and dangerous situations whenever I put myself in them on my board. I've got some right, here, right here Cam with Warren. me. What? What? Sorry, it's I'm good sorry, stuff. Cam. Oh, you got another guy you're mentioning. Okay, pardon me, pardon me. I don't mean to interrupt you there. Uh, hey, what's, what makes it so good, Ari? Like, come on, it's different than the other grip tapes. You want to break it down a little bit? I don't want to tell all your secrets, but it's noticeably different than the other, you know, grip tapes out there that it, everyday skaters can get their hands on. 
Well, do we start with the banana or do we start with the cherry? You tell me, Ari. It's a banana split. I, I, I just I, I realized that in order to make a better grip tape, it had to last longer. And I created uh, materials in a synergistic way to where the crystals don't pop off and it flexes with the board properly. It lasts longer. And the cherry is the technology that we actually have science to validate to a certain extent. I'm a believer. It's cool. You talk. I like your Instagram. Everybody follow Paradox Grip on Instagram. It's definitely one of the best. I get, you know, these, that's where I get all my news, I'll be honest with you, 90% of it at least. <laughs> so thank you. And my music. You got a great taste in music too, Ari. I got to give you credit. Much love for that. Uh, hey, let's talk about Joe Buffalo Nations. You're helping him. What's, what's the story there? That's an amazing project that Joe's got underway. And you're, you're helping him out. You're backing it. What's going on with that? That's all you, man. Roger, that's, that's all you. No, 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 so no. No, that's not me. Yeah, that's not me I at all. That's not me at all. We connected, and I saw how bright Joe was, was shining, and I was, I was like, how can I help? I sent him grip right away. And then I started contemplating on how to create some fundraising ideas for him. And then I made that grip tape for him right away, and he's already implementing that to a very successful degree. And I'm, I'm incredibly honored to be part of uh, his journey to help skateboarding save lives, because it saved mine. Yeah, I agree. Hey, we were talking off camera, and we had a, we had a good chat about that. And you're right, Joe Buffalo's on a great path, and we're both uh, here to help him, right? So really cool. Paradox Grip, backing nations, how cool is that? Can't go wrong with that action. So Ari, uh, where are we going with things? Where's skateboarding going to be in a couple of years? Is it going to explode because of the Olympics? What, what's going to happen here? Is the industry going to explode and everyone's going to be bajillionaires or something? What's, what, look into your crystal ball. Tell me what's going to happen. You know things. You're in San Diego. You're in the, you're in the middle of it. I think the Olympics need skateboarding more than skateboarding needs the Olympics. But it does validate skateboarding to a very large degree um, in a lot of different ways. So there's skaters are now have an opportunity to represent their country. That's pretty impressive uh, life accomplishment. So I can see how that would be a goal for certain people and certain families. And do I think it's going to explode the sport? Who knows, man? I mean, COVID exploded the sport. True. Everybody that. knows that. You don't know school. Everyone's skating. Yeah. Yeah. How many countries in the world can you find Paradox? How far have you reached with your program, Ari? You've taken it a long ways from just where you started. It's hard to say because I have a, a European distributor that's just one location but distributes to all of Europe. Um, so that's kind of difficult to say. but. Uh, we're not in Canada, unfortunately. <laughs> I know, uh, I know my man Sean and yourself have been trying to alter that. We were at Ultimate when Jessa made a mistake and tried to copy my product in, in effectively, and they had a huge return, and then we were replaced. I don't know what happened. I'm just a guy over here in San Diego, bro, at the same time, you know, like on the beach. Um, try, we, we, uh, we love what we do, you know, like when, when someone like yourself from so far away uh, that's been skateboarding for so long and obviously, you know, has been there, done that, and can appreciate something like sandpaper, like, like you made a, like this is better sandpaper, essentially. I uh, think that the it kind of yeah. makes a, it, 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 it keeps the fire lit. Thank you. 
The, yeah, I, I was going to say that somewhat the essence of skateboarding to me is, is discovery and there's always exciting things around the corner and surprises and it comes even down to product when you're super stoked because there's a new wheel formula from Spitfire or, or somebody that you're into. And, you know, I'm excited when I get new product that's better than what I've been riding and I really feel that way about your stuff and I share with certain people that I know are going to test it and say, yeah, that's really good, man. Can I get some more of that? And so. I personally, I appreciate it when people put effort into improving the products that I'm using to, to you know, put myself and get myself out of dangerous situations, having a good time the whole time. But uh, yeah, thanks, Ari. I mean, it means a lot to me and a lot of guys that, you know, obviously you got guys, super big names riding your product. You got Wes and you got Jake and guys and uh, who, where, where do you get the next guys? Like who's, uh, who are you looking at? Do, do people try and steal your riders? Tell, tell me about that a little bit. All the time, all the time. Brandon Turner got came, my brand, and uh, Brandon's loyal. I love Brandon Turner, you know? And of course, man, I don't, I don't think these people understand that's like a family for me. Yeah. So I, I don't want anyone to not be paid. I don't want anything wrong, you know? But when, I, when they come back to me and they're like, yeah, man, I said no. Yeah. Uh, you know, it always warms my heart. You know, I, I don't win them. There's a, there's been a couple of guys like Kevin Bakel. Man, what a what we would call a mensch. When, when I you know I grew up in a Jewish culture, you know they call it a mensch, which is just like a really upstanding human. And uh, he warned me. He's like, yeah, blah 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 blah. They want me to do this, blah 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 blah. And I was like, all right, well, just can you write it out? And we smoked a joint at Skate Park Tampa Am contest right when I put Jamie Foy on and told Jamie how special he was. No one cared about Jamie at that point. I remember it was at 2014 or 2015 and everyone at the Skate Park of Tampa, they were like, oh, you like Jamie? Oh, but you know, and they said all these things, oh, your yellow pants, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, look at him. How does he do that? Look how big he is. How does he balance on a rail like that? It's incredible. Like, for me, he was like the dude, you know? And no one cared about him at that point. You know, and then, you know, he got taken. Other people get taken. Lizard King, the way Lizard King got taken was harsh. That hurt. I showed up at Wallenberg contest and he's riding another brand's grip tape. I'm like, but, uh, n Pulling back from it, mm -hmm. now I can see you know, everyone has a vested interest in whatever their perspective is. They have, I think they have good intentions for the writer. That's all I can think about to like turn it into a positive, you know, but yeah, it yeah. hurts. Yeah. I'm sorry. That sucks. That is, there's always a, you're right. There's a. There's a pros and cons and everything, and it is a business game, and you know money's floating everywhere, and there's people getting muscled and all that, and you know we're all different size. Some are big, some are small, but you're doing great, Ari. I hope you keep up what you're doing, and you know I got my support and everything. And uh, what can I say? It's really cool you came on and talked to us today. Anyone you want to say uh, shout outs to or say thanks before we tailor off here? Oh man, that's a hard one. Um, I want to thank everyone that well. First off, I'd like to apologize to anyone. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. To anyone, anything I've ever said in the past, specifically to Patrick O'Dell, to Robert Brink and the Grim City, please, please forgive me. I forgive you. I'm sorry. I love you. Thank you. And to anyone else. And, uh, you know, I'm human. So I, I rather than thank people, I, I just would like to offer my forgiveness. And I'd like to thank everyone, like, equally, that uh, even gives a fuck about this sandpaper project to underwrite giving away free skateboards. Thank you. You're up to great things, Ari. You keep it up. Thank you for coming on Skateboard Canada. We really appreciate it. And we're going to help spread your story and 
Help spread your grip. There you go, everybody. Ari Gold from Paradox Grip, joining us from San Diego, California. And he's got quite a story. He's up to good things. He's helping our boy Joe Buffalo with his Nations program. And he's helping a lot of people skateboard better, which is a good thing at Skateboard Canada. Over and out. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. It's Roger Brunsma.